Thomas and I, we actually you know, <laughs> have been researching in the virtual reality space uh, 10 years ago and then decided, well, we don't want to spend uh, a huge amount of money on huge amounts of equipment to kind of do this and it's really cool to see that it's now kind of a consumer game, has become a consumer game. Uh, what's, what's really nice about the Oculus is you already have the orientation sensor so you can kind of turn around. Uh, what's kind of missing is moving around the holo deck and um, for this uh, optical technologies are really cool as we can see here in the, in the v virtual reality world we have these uh, optical markers but you can also put a camera on the device like with this very new and very cool Moverio 200 uh, by Epson um, which already has a camera and you can um, kind of get your own position, your own movement, also the positional movement through the room. So you can, if you're in the holodeck, you can walk towards something and back and around and not just rotate. Another cool announcement that um, I, I noticed yesterday was the HTC M8, which um, also will have depth information uh, in the world-facing part of its camera system. And that's huge because that solves a, a big problem for us. Um, so if you look at the IKEA catalog, we have to put the catalog on the ground to get the scale of the room. Um, and having depth, we don't need that anymore. Uh, we can get, you know, um, a 3D model of the room uh, much more accurately and with the correct scale. And we can put, without having any kind of reference, a piece of furniture in there, and it will fit and look great. And uh, so, yeah, as Arnold Schwarzenegger used to say. Always on, always augmented.